can post you up. You know, he can take you off the dribble. You know, he can shoot the three-point. He, he can do it, do it all. Allen was a fierce competitor that just showed it in a different way. He just had a great poise and a calmness to his game. With a cool exterior and a feathery touch, Allen Houston distinguished himself as one of the great scorers in the game. He led the Knicks to the 1999 NBA Finals and represented the team with unparalleled class and dignity. What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. Today, I got some playing out online with the 99 Knicks. And I never actually used them online before. Like, I messed around with them in, like, practice and stuff. But this is the first time I even used them online. And I literally just woke up one day and was like, I should use the 99 Knicks. Why not shoot some threes with Allen Houston? And so you'll see me use the Flow Freelance and the Kings playbook. The Kings have a couple plays, a couple three-point plays that I really like. So you'll see me, you know, get some open threes for Allen Houston. And yeah, Allen Houston. He was a pretty good player, all-star caliber player back in late 90s, early 2000s. And then the Knicks gave him that $100 million contract and the Grim Reaper took his knees and ended up retiring early, which is pretty unfortunate. But I will say H2O is actually a really cool nickname. Like it fits him and it makes a lot of sense. And also fun fact, Jalen Brunson's dad, Rick Brunson, is on this team. And you'll see me get a couple buckets with him. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. As always, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content. Get by Bridges. Goes back up. Pass to Miller. Back to Bridges. Outside ball. It's another look. And there it is for him. Well, I tell you, Bridges. Like we got to get rebounds. His teammates appreciate when he looks to get them involved. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Ward, good. Cody Martin, Fish Smith. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Johnson, good. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Rozier. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert. Hey! Free throw margin. Let's get to the line. To Houston. Here's Sprewell. Here's Warren. Covered by Mark. Pocket six. Here's Houston. Good on the jump shot. Houston's got six. And this is where Houston is at his best. So good at just catching Lord. and shooting. He got it up. And the Damn, I got a green attempt. Doesn't fall. Guys, what are your thoughts? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that uh, quarter. Sinks the three pointer. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. to Houston. Fires for three. Give me the green light. Houston's got the lead up to nine now for the Knicks. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Back to ball. Let's go. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Knicks lead by nine. Pass to Houston. Down low. Damn. He Here's dropped. Camby. Here's Houston. Here's Johnson. And it's good. The time running down in the shot. GGs. The New York Knicks. Here's war. Pass hey, whose man is this? And the three ball is good. Target neutralized. I love seeing Houston get space there to shoot it. I don't know what he's helping like that for. All right. 
Put on the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage huh. shots, that doesn't typically end well. This part being disruptive at the defensive end right now. Pass to Houston. Five on the clock. Trips in the tray. Houston's got six points. And this is where Houston is at his best. So good at just catching and shooting. And here is Serbia. Why is the computer jumping, bro? Here's You're like, yo, they gotta fix that. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Pass to Sprewell. Here's Houston. Again, New York with the triple. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's Serbiak. A three-pointer off the mark. I don't know why I keep going for that. Here's Johnson. And contact on the shot. So this is possession here. Pass to Hoiberg. Garnett, the screen. Down low. And Garnett with those slams. And, and guys, you can't let an exceptional rebounder like Garnett get that kind of position. That's how he finds those second chance points. Here's Houston. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls it to great. Thomas a screen. Yeah, let's go, Rick. Looking like your son. And almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Here's Houston. Three pointer gets the three pointer to fall. Houston's got 14. How about the rage on that jump shot? I love seeing this guy when he's in form. Great at finding open teammates, and you want Cassell feeding the shooters. Pass to Houston. Now, here's Ewing. Oh, he needs God. some milk. And how about the muscle inside from Ewing? Easily getting to wherever yeah, he is. Slow shit. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now, you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Pass to Sprewell. Looking for you, and he gets it there. Slams it in. And here are the Knicks. In the second half, they've only given up one basket coming from the free throw line. Out to the right wing. And slam dunk by Canby. Passing is a nice bonus you get from Sprewell. He's got vision and looks to get others involved. Like, bro, like, the computer will, is literally not going to put a hand out. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Ward. Scoreless thus far. Here's Houston. Fires the three. You better. Oh my god, I got a green man. Timberwolves trailed by three. Garnett, the screen. Here's Serbiak. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Olawa Candy. Barnett with it. Here's Cassell. 
And here is Serbia. Five points in the game. Clock at four. For three. They get it back. Oh my god, bro. To end the cold streak. That shot off. The Knicks lead by five. Out up there for Johnson. And this is what we've come to expect. Out to Smith. From outside the arc. From Brunson. Brunson's got the lead up to 11 now for the Knicks. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. The screen from you. Pass to Houston. Takes the three. Got a piece of it. Down it goes. Jamming that one home. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the Houston shots good. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Yeah, you can tell Spruwell is very competitive. When they need a shot, he's the guy to deliver. Pass to Houston. Here's Spruwell. Here's Ward. And he can't answer I agree, the three-pointer offline. Timberwolves trailed by three. Who do you think you are? Serbia, no luck. I'll tell you, this has not been his game. He's making it worse with shot selection like that. Here is Ewing. And Ewing slams it in. Oh, Kevin, not a Petty, not a Manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the ounce. Greg, yeah, showing off the bunny. Inside. Here's Johnson. Banked in off the glass. Now it's a seven point Knicks lead. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. Garnett, the screen. It's Garnett on the wing. No good with the triple. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. <laughs> Once they smell blood in the water, you can see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And you can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Houston can't get it to go. And so it's Garnett who brings up the ball for Minnesota. Seven-point differential. Serbiak, no luck. Here's Houston. That's good, and Ewing with the assist. Here's Garnett. The epic counts. This guy can do so much for you. GG's. As Houston moves to the head of the circle, he pulls the jumper. Yes. He's a cool assassin. He's Perhaps the prettiest jumper in the game. There's certain guys you associate with having a, a beautiful form on their jump shot, and Alan Houston is one of those guys. It definitely looked good leaving his hands all the time. I mean, you know, you, ne you never thought he was going to miss. You could always count on him making big shots. He can post you up. You know, he could take you off the dribble. You know, he could shoot the three point. He, he could do it, do it all. Allen was a fierce competitor that just showed it in a different way. He just had a great poise and a calmness to his game. It's going out, Houston, from downtown. 